I try to be very versed in situational awareness, right? I got to know where I am, what I'm doing, who's around, what neighborhood, you know, who, who, who usually peruses the neighborhood that I'm trafficking today. So most people aren't fully aware of their surroundings. And it seems like this lady was not. Come with me to not only get my car stolen, but also the wedding cake I had just made. So here I am putting the cake in an insulated box in the back. Um, unless y'all have delivered wedding cakes in the Texas heat, do not come at me for needing to keep my car on. So, I'm going to come at you for keeping your car on. Just what you asked not to do, I'm going to do it. Why? Because you said you went in for just a second. If you went in for just a second, and you already had your car on for a little while, if you went in for just a second, in and out, there's no reason to not turn your car off and lock the door. I'd be pissed off if I was your significant other and you got your car stolen in this kind of situation. Turn your car off and lock the door if it's just for a second. The cake's not going to melt in 30 seconds. Then you can turn the car back on, turn the AC on, blast it, and you're good to go. It is hot as hell outside and I can't lock my car while it's on. So I go inside for one minute to grab my water and my lunch. And mind you, I'm parked right outside my bakery. It's So again... She was parked right outside. She just went to grab her water and her lunch. Why would you not lock the door? Broad daylight, and we do have cameras. And these two little shitheads see my car running. But at this point, That's I'm walking out fault. the door, and I do see the boys hop in the car. And here I come. Wee! It looked like she might have got hurt, too. So, I feel bad you got your car stolen. But, dude, what are you doing? What does the comments say? Uh, melted cake is <laughs> less than stolen car. Yeah, I would agree with that. The end. We put stuff in the car first, turn the car off, lock the car, get cake, unlock the car, pack cake, start car, drive. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I would smash my, I would slash my own tires. I wouldn't do that. Because they're probably going to keep driving, even with slashed tires. And now your rims are jacked up. And the underbelly of your car... No, nah, you don't want to do that. Did they get arrested? I don't know, but some people have some comments about it. The cops thought the car, and it was towed. Okay, so I guess what? Uh, the cake was turned over, <laughs> but I was able to reshape it to look like new. So, yeah, the whole time the cops had the car... You probably didn't have the car on. So, like, it doesn't make sense. It, it ain't adding up. It ain't adding up. So, we, we, I get it. So, a lot of people like the whole we business. But just turn the car off and lock it. That's the point. That's the lesson for today. So, if you are putting things in your car and you need to run back inside, lock the door.